Hello and welcome to the Thursday, April 11th, 2024 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from London, England. Well, let's today start with a critical update for the Windows version of the programming language Rust. This vulnerability in the standard library has a perfect CFSS score of 10, even though the risk, well, may or may not a little bit uh, more limited, depends really on how you are using the affected API, and that's the command API. Actually, an API that exists in pretty much any language and has had issues in pretty much any language. The purpose of the command API is to execute a command via command.exe and securely escape any command parameters being passed in order to avoid OS command injection, a very common vulnerability where you, for example, can use things like semicolons and dollar symbols and the like in order to execute additional commands by passing them as a command parameter. And before you say, isn't Rust supposed to be a secure programming language? Yes, it is, but with specific issues around memory safety in mind, other vulnerabilities will, of course, still occur in Rust, just like in any other language. Now, the tricky part about this particular vulnerability is that it really affects uh, software created with Rust much more than Rust itself. So having Rust installed on your system, for example, will not really expose you to any particular risks in this case. But if you're running software that uses the command API and was compiled using the old version of the standard library, well, then that particular binary would expose you to this vulnerability. And then as typical as part of Patch Tuesday, we also got updates from Adobe. Nine different products received updates. I'm not going over all the details here. Uh, there are, for example, quite a few products that are affected by a single out-of-bounds read vulnerability. CVS has score only of 5.5. The one product that I want to focus on a little bit is Adobe's Commerce product, used to be known as Magento. Well, uh, this product, uh, two vulnerabilities were being addressed here. One is an arbitrary code execution, just says here improper input validation, CVSS score of nine. And then we also have a stored cross-site scripting vulnerability with a CVSS score of 8.1 that could lead to arbitrary code execution. Given the history of exploitation against this platform, I highly recommend that you expedite this update. And then we got updates from FortiGuard affecting 40 OS and 40 proxy. There is one vulnerability being addressed here. It's rated high with a CVS score of 7.5. As it says in the advisory that due to this attack, an attacker may be able to gain access to administrator cookies in rare and specific conditions via tricking the administrator into visiting a malicious attacker controlled website through the SSL VPN. A researcher who is affiliated with Fortinet it's being credited with the discovery of this vulnerability. So I assume we won't really see a lot of detail about this vulnerability anytime soon. Hopefully you have some time to upgrade and given some of the specifics here, exploitation doesn't sound terribly straightforward for this vulnerability. Additional vulnerabilities disclosed in Fortier OS and patched relate to escalating privileges for authenticated attackers, and also the fingerprinting of the device where an attacker may be able to figure out the exact version of the operating system. So not any vulnerabilities that I would rate as critical or worth expediting patches for. And in this week's patch, Tuesday, we had one vulnerability, a proxy driver spoofing vulnerability that Microsoft marked as already exploited and already made public in the life. I had uh, not much luck finding a lot of details about this uh, yesterday or on Tuesday when I first looked at it. Well, uh, we now have more details from Sophos who reported this issue to Microsoft. It actually turns out that this was malware that 
took advantage of a signed driver. It was signed using the Microsoft Hardware Publisher Certificate. This has been a prop program that has been sort of problematic in the past. And uh, yes, uh, this uh, driver was then used to apparently uh, do malicious things. I'll link to the detailed write-up by Sophos, but the short summary here is that the patch that was released on Tuesday actually just adds this driver to and this certificate used with this driver uh, to it to the revocation list so it no longer is being trusted well that's it for today just want to say a quick thanks to all the kinds of word that i saw in the reddit uh, cyber security uh, forum here uh, when someone was asking about good sources uh, to uh, follow and that's it for today thanks and talk to you again tomorrow bye